introducing the ProSim Spotlight SPO2 functional tester, the newest member of the ProSim family. The scenario that we're going to talk about today is one that happens every day in the, in the medical facility or hospital where you get a clinical uh, a call from the clinical unit, the oximeter is not working on some medical device. So you grab your spotlight and you go up to the clinical unit. In this case, we find the, the device turned on, it's a defibrillator, and we will turn on our spotlight SpO2 functional tester, wait for it to go through its self-check, and we will then connect the oximeter sensor from the medical device and we'll watch this bar down at the bottom. It's called the signal strength bar and you can see that it has a good signal and you will begin to see the display on the screen of the defibrillator. Now, testing this functionally really quickly is just a four button push. We're going to go to our custom setup and go to custom three which is programmed for a patient with uh, a high heart rate and a high O2 sat. You can see it sets off the high limit alarms, which is exactly what we want it to do. We'll watch till the um, oximeter reading and the heart rate settle. And then we'll move to custom two, which is a normal patient. We want to let the alarms continue to sound because the normal conditions will let them silence on their own, an important part of the functional test. Again, waiting for those to settle. And then we'll simply push one more time for our hypotensive patient with a low uh, O2 saturation, low perfusion. And you'll see the alarms will sound again, this time on the low end. And again, we'll wait for the readings to settle. And we'll push one more time to get back to a more normal reading so the alarms will quiet once more. And there we are. You've tested 90% of it in right around 30 seconds. The SPO2 Functional Tester, Spotlight, the newest member of the ProSim family.